Welcome to the junction. Now, the story of Bonihalwale's farm worker that got scored uh, by the bull comes to a close uh, with the government pathologist Dr. Uh, Odur having carried out the final uh, post-mortem and uh, doing a report in which uh, it is clear uh, that uh, Moi Kizito was killed uh, by being hit on the head and uh, that it was a blunt object that penetrated him and not something sharp like a knife. Now, this uh, was brought about, the second postmortem because there was a first postmortem that was carried out in Kakamega by the local pathologist. But uh, there was allegations put forward by a local tycoon, uh, Cleophas uh, Shinyam Mula, someone, he is uh, an owner of one of our uh, foot, local football clubs that is in our Premier League. Now, he put forward a case that the murder, there was foul play and that it wasn't uh, the bull and he put it that uh, it had to have been Dr. Kalwale who did it. Now, uh, science has disapproved his case. L let's listen to what he said there. Kalwale jana amekuwa kwenye kwenye media na mitandao anasema kwamba ngombe iligonga mfanyakazi wake na ripoti ambayo ina tunaipata ambayo imetuhuzunisha sana Kalwale ndiye aliyeua mfanyakazi wake mwenyewe na kitu nashangaa sababu ya polisi walikuja pale yeye mwenyewe amekuja akaosha hiyo mwili na sisi kitu tunashindwa ni kwamba tumepata report ambayo tunapata na tujapata ukweli wake tunaomba polisi kae inawezekana Kalwale awekwe ndani asitakiwe na mada Yeye ilisemekana kwamba mke wa Kalwale ule anakaa nyumbani alikuwa mpenzi wa huyo mfanyakazi wake. So Kal So now that was his story. Uh, it brought about he put us passions on Dr. Kalwale and uh, Dr. Kalwale did not help his case by the many many versions of uh, the event as he was stating constantly. So I think that is why people need a lawyer to speak on such serious matters because uh, constantly he kept talking and uh, so many versions of his uh, of this story came out from himself and I think that made it more solid to be investigated. Now let's listen to Dr. Odwar uh, speak when he is accompanied by the other pathologist that was representing the site of uh, Toto, as Cleophas is known in Kakamega, and also uh, listen, on the, and also in the presence of Halwale, who I believe must have represented himself. So I can begin. Yeah, yeah. So uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, today uh, we are here in Kakamega to perform a postmortem for the body of the late Kizito Moi. A gentleman who reportedly died on 27th of uh, last month after allegedly being gored by a bull. The autopsy was performed uh, by the local pathologist, Dr. Mchana. However, there were some complaints which uh, led to us being called here to do a repeat. So I'll go straight to find my findings. What I found is that the late uh, Kizito had injuries. One injury was on the forehead on the right side. There was one on the anterior neck and on the inner thigh of the left uh, leg. Looking at his injuries, they were penetrating and they, were co they, were, they also had some features which included uh, some, bru some bruising around, around them. And uh, to look at them uh, closely, uh, they look like uh, injuries which are caused uh, by sa something which was penetrating but was not very sharp, was uh, a, bit, a bit blunt, which is in keeping with uh, a horn of an animal. So from all these findings, uh, we can uh, conclude that uh, in, indeed the initial autopsy was correct and uh, it was uh, caused by an animal other than uh, something which has stabbed the person, like uh, what was being alleged that uh, it was a knife or something like that. So that is all. There was a doctor in our team who was representing the complainants. It's only fair that you hear him, Dr. Honya. Uh, good afternoon, all. My name is Dr. Ahonya. I was representing the complainants, uh, the people who had alleged that there was some sort of foul play. But indeed, I have attended the postmortem, I've written my report, and I concur with what Dr. Johansen Tornodur has stated. It is as he has stated. Thank you.